know what? I'm just gonna draw this out. Cause I just made a box. Hooray! And I'm not even complaining. I do want to actually make that a three-way. There's going to be a lot of prisoners filtering through that. Maybe not this bit, but down here for the canteen, we're going to have a lot of prisoners filtering through. Because next is going to be cells. About 86 more cells. 86 more cells. No, it's supposed to be 128. But we'll see what we can do. I have this area up here as well. Yeah, we don't want to do too much over here, but having prisoners kind of across, I mean, this is looks like a decent spot for prisoners. Don't get me wrong. Actually. Neither would this spot up here be. A bad place. That might actually work better for me. Do I want to keep the vertical? Do I want to switch it to horizontal? Switch it to horizontal. That'd be top and bottoms. Yeah, we'll do horizontal. All right, so what we want to do yep that that'll be good all right, so we're doing horizontals, so that'd be five by three five by three. I really want to get this uh, little security decked out for you guys, but we'll, we'll see here. How much space do I have? It's in the same space that I did this. I might be able to get a whole lot more prisoners. I mean, cell grading is another 
factor, but since that's not a factor I'm ex exploring in this prison, thinking. Okay, so this is not perfectly lined up, but uh, let's see if we can't correct that. Well, that's a three way. You know, that isn't a bad thing, having a big gap there and a low gap back here. Because if I have them filtering out this way. Alright, so how many cells do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen cells. That's. That's. What? Do I really have thirty four cells? Two. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that that's uh, thirty-two prisoners just right there. Yeah, okay, it's a pretty high capacity. Um, I'll do that. We're at fifty-two. So that immediately makes me have 68 prisoners just in this little room. Sixty-eight prisoners in this room? You might think I'm crazy, but I have 68 prisoners just in that room. And then... Let's keep the horizontal going. I just want to see if I can't get the, the capacity. If I can get the capacity... Oh, that worked out nicely. Great. So 68 just up there. In fact, I'm going to make a note of that somehow. There we go. 68. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. That's 18. So. That'd get me 104. I mean, that's close to 128. And then if I can squeeze 
one more in here. Golden. Yeah, I, I could do that. I'm 22. Looking at. Four. Which then gives me this section, and then what I can do in this section Go ahead and put some doors on this place. Maybe, you know, I'm sitting here looking at it. Maybe I don't do low security at all. I don't do low security at all. Then I could just have a normal security, a maximum security, and then a lot of other stuff. But we'll have to look into that. All right. So I could do cleaning and stuff over here. Cleaning and laundry. I mean, Double doors there. Technically, this should be staff only. If that's staff only, I could do standard object there. This is staff only as well, so that might be actually a better spot for the door.
And then where this 54 is could be a shower block for... Ooh. Ugh, maybe I should separate the shower blocks. These guys got showers with them at least. Do um close your intake. Um I'll leave the ratios as they are. In fact, I might even up this one just so I can start getting max sec, but um, I want to make sure I close that, and then go away, CEO. Okay. So, what we want to do is laundry cleaning over here. I mean, it definitely is a sizable section right there. So, for the 128 area down here, want we'll just make one giant laundry room over here. So, looking at can iron boards be rotated yet? That is always my problem. Laundry machines, I don't think, are available either. Um, washing machines. Well, let's start with the iron boards. We want four. And three wash. washers and pull that off and 
cleaning cupboards can always be a uh, weird size. Um, pretty sure. Three by three. So I think that is in fact the three by three space. It is. Which is apparently fifty two squares. So three by nine, that's nine eighteen twenty seven. That should be a decent sized. I mean, to be honest, my calculator. Does say fifty two. But that's nearly doubling the size of this cleaning cupboard, and that's that's weird to me. I mean I could wanted to arrange it something like this maybe which would uh not a little bit of space Let's um, change the orientation of this laundry room. You know what? That technically would double it.
iron boards, like, I just I can't remember the orientation on them. What if instead of trying to shove it up there, maybe I should just put it down here? Because... Like just as easily. Cause I could do ten by five and get away with that too. At least then I have a Larger laundry mat down here where I could just go. And actually, get four iron board. And then I don't have to worry about it because I'll have a space on either side of the wall. There we go. I did it! And yeah, just eight baskets everywhere. And that still allows a pathway for working, but that would alone cover, is it supposed to cover this entire space? I'm curious to see if the prisoners would go down to this door, or if they would go to this door, which one they would go to first. Because I could see them spreading out. Because, you know, these are all kind of at the far end, either way. I know it seems stupid, but I'm going to draw these uh, numbers again. Just so I don't forget what blocks they're actually in.
Just so I can keep that mind set in here so I know for sure without having to count them every single time. There we go. 54 in this area, 68 in this area. Cleaning. That's all kind of one security bracket. Now... I still need a staff room and security down here. So I think I'm probably going to do it right here. I also want to go ahead and make sure I get the showers in because I can't keep forgetting the showers. And I feel like this block is best suited for it. So 128 prisoners. Well, I could do it that way. 40. Eighty. Yeah, this is way bigger than it needs to be. I didn't even think about it. Seven. Fourteen. Seven by three. Seven by three. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fourteen. Nine? Do I need. My math is right, I need about nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Yeah, let's do it a different way. If I do that door, just doors, I, I don't care. And then we'll do drains all like right here. Let's do ten. So you can do sections of ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. I do like spacing them out, but I don't know. And twenty, thirty, forty, eighty. But 
but doing sections of 10 will probably be the best. Um, and then I could roll it off again. Leaves this kind of open for interpretation. But at least you have the shower block for 128 prisoners. It would be a bloodbath. Sending everyone there, but... You know. See what happens. This is just one section. I still, I, I mean, I, I haven't even thought about offices yet. That's just because I want to plan out most of my prison. All right, so now that I've got the shower, I, I, I have enough for basic detention if I really wanted to start building this. But I don't want to do that yet, because now I need to think. So far, I've stuck to what I want. This is all one building. Next will be... Yard, I guess. 